Hello and welcome to the Business Whisperer podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Adila Rafiz, the global business whisperer. If you are wondering how to create a life in business that is intuitive, authentic, and successful, that is exactly what we are here to help you do each and every week, where we bring you episodes, interviews, tools, tips, everything that you are looking for to help you realize that the most important ingredient in your business is you, and listening to the whispers of your intuition, your gut instinct. It has helped me create a business beyond my wildest dreams, and I'm here to now help you do the same. So if you are ready to download some of this business whispering magic into your life and business, stay tuned because you're in the right place. Hi everyone, Dr. Adela Rafiz here with a brand new episode of the Business Whisperer podcast. Today we continue with the Healers series, so Heal the Healer, which is in the lead up to a three-part series I'm running shortly for the healers, practitioners, intuitives, and empaths of the world. There is a free call associated with that on the 26th of March. Please check out the details below. Do not miss this. Today, we're getting into the visibility wound, okay? This is one of the three wounds that we are diving into in this three-part series. And the visibility wound is all about being seen or rather not being seen. And when I'm talking about visibility in this series, I'm talking about really diving into the depths of what you do, allowing the true you And the depth of your work, the depth of who you are and the skills and the talent that you have to be able to actually come out and be on display for the world. And this is what I have found with most of us, absolutely myself included. I was saying in the previous episode how I didn't even use the term healer to describe myself for many, many years. I found it... um, much too much of a stretch. I thought, oh my gosh, people are going to judge me. They're going to think I'm weird. They're going to think I'm woo-woo. I'm going to stick to my very professional titles of being a chiropractor. And then when I wanted to extend that a little bit based on the work that I was doing, I switched to the term holistic chiropractor and then holistic practitioner. And now I very happily call myself first and foremost a healer and then after that I say yes I also you know um, facilitate I mentor I coach but first and foremost I am a healer that is what I do the work that I do is about helping facilitate uh, healing for others for the planet for the world for myself And from that work, from the work that I've done and the work that I've developed, I've been able to take that information and kind of channel it into other ways of helping people, helping you heal in your business, helping you heal in your life, helping you heal in your relationships and family. And that's where all of my programs and different offerings come from. But first and foremost, I'm a healer. And it took me a long time to acknowledge that took me a long time to say that, took me a long time to say, I'm not just like all the other chiropractors, I'm not just like all of the other whatever, whatever, whatever industry I was trying to fit into or group I was trying to fit into, that I have very unique talents, that I have a very intuitive way, that body speak to me, um, energy speaks to me, and I don't know how I know what to do, but I know I've had this ability for a very long time and I fought it for a very long time because it was way safer to fit into whatever group I was trying to fit into and identify with at the time. For many years that was chiropractic, for many years that was then another modality um, or whatever it is that you do, okay? And so the visibility wound is not just about not showing up at all. That's the first one. 
And a lot of you and a lot of us have and continue to struggle with that. So that's when people say to me, look, I really struggle to talk about what I'm doing. I really struggle to find clients. I really struggle to share what I'm doing with my family and friends and to talk about who I really am and what really inspires me and what I care about. They instead want me to fit into this box of being the person that they think I am or they expect me to be. So that's the first part of the visibility wound, is really not feeling like you can show up at all. But the second part, the thing that I think is going to create more depth with this and what we're diving into in this series, is the part where you are showing up, but you're only showing up a little bit compared to what you truly have to offer. Truly being able to go to the depths of your soul and bring forward the talents, the unique abilities, the work that you're here to do or the ability that you have to contribute to the world that you are avoiding because it's too out there or it's too weird or it doesn't fit into a neat little title or category and most importantly probably because no one else you know is either doing it or has shown you how you can do it. And this episode, just like the other episodes in the series, fits in, there's a crossover and overlap with our other two healer's wounds that the other episode um, topics are on, the healer's wound and the validation wound, absolutely tie into this. So with the visibility wound, though, this is where you start to feel really restless. And this is where if you're stagnated in your life, if you're stagnated in your business, if you're stagnated in your income, if you're wondering how come that other person in my industry is doing really well and I'm not, how come clients are going to them and not to me? Well, how much are you really offering of who you truly are versus how much are you only offering as much as you think? you're allowed to, as much as you have deemed available for people to consume, meaning it fits into the image you're trying to portray, or the background that you come from, or the profession you're trying to fit into, and how scared are you of being seen as too out there, or too different, or basically being rejected, that is creating a lack of visibility. And the visibility wounds works on multiple levels, mind, body, and energy. Energetically, it works to create incongruence. That means that people pick up energetically on the fact that you're not quite saying what you really mean or you're holding back and that creates this weird energetic dynamic that sabotages you and your success. Physically it creates you feeling dissatisfied and scared in your body. You have a fear response or a stress response or fight or flight response You might know this is really true for you if you have very physical or practical symptoms in your body when you either think about or you go ahead to show up either online, like doing a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live, or even writing a social media post. Are you thinking a million times about what is the right, kosher, acceptable words to say? What are the words that are going to fit in with what people are expecting you or want to hear from you that doesn't make you seem too out there? If you get very nervous or scared or you have palpitations or you get very, um, you know, have all of those symptoms of being in fight or flight, if you're at a networking event, or you need to stand up and speak about what you do, or you need to share your services, or even just introduce yourself to a new group of people, even an existing group of friends or family members, how comfortable are you talking about who you are and the work that you do, and what's important to you? The visibility wound 
starts to show up in every area of our life because when we can't be truly visible as who we are, that doesn't just impact us in one area of our life. It means that it starts to impede in how we can show up and who we show up as with our family. In romantic relationships, in professional settings, in social settings, online, in real life, And if you are feeling like or you are finding that there is this huge disparity or discrepancy between who you feel like you really are and how you show up in all those situations, or you show up as a completely different person in those different scenarios and situations, that's part of this visibility wound. It's no fun having to show up as different people based on the environment that you're in. Sure, we can have different aspects of our show up. That's totally reasonable. You might not show up in a work or professional setting as the person that you show up as on a Saturday night with your closest friends. But if you feel like you need to hide or show up as a completely different version of you, if you feel like people don't really know who you are, They don't really even know what you're capable of, what you stand for, what's important for you. If you feel like you can't even speak freely in your closest relationships for fear of being judged or talking about the fact that you're psychic or you're intuitive or you manifest or you create or you're a powerful healer or you do life-changing work. This is part of the visibility wound. And so when you feel like you can only show up and share and talk about those things with the few people, either your ideal clients or the people that could understand that and accept that, and for the rest of the world, you need to really whitewash or um, make much more neutral and acceptable the things that you want to talk about, that's a sign that you're not able to show up as you. And that is a bigger sign that you are not going to be anywhere near as successful in your work, in your business, with your finances that you could be. Because I promise you there is greater depth to what you have to offer. I promise you that you are scared of showing up and realizing, oh my gosh, I can also do this, that and the other but how on earth am I going to talk about this and share this with the world? I don't even think my current clients can receive that or accept that. Okay. I thought that every step of the way, I thought that through all of the transitions I've made in my career, I thought that when I started to um, go off the charts, like go off any other modality that I used to practice and start practicing my own, I thought that when I realized I could channel, I thought that when I, you know, started to do really out out there in inverted commas, um, was probably completely normal to most of you um, who are listening to this podcast, but out there compared to how I used to show up when I started to do this amazing work and not just myself, but with other healers and practitioners and, and they took me so much further down that rabbit hole. And This is not a rabbit hole that you see people speaking about and being able to share on social media. This does not make for, um, you know, cute, cute posts on social media, but really finding the depths of who you are and what you have to deliver to the world and really having that for yourself, really validating that for yourself and seeing it for yourself and first and first and foremost, being visible to yourself as who you really are. What you're capable of doing, what you can offer the world, what you can offer your clients, what makes you different rather than what makes you the same. And then doing the super scary thing and calling that out about yourself and sharing that because that is what your future clients are looking for. That is what your next level of clients and people that you're here to serve are searching for. But until you acknowledge it for yourself and become visible to yourself and speak up about it, 
not only can you not serve others, you can't even serve yourself. And every part of your life will kind of suffer or at least struggle. So financially, things don't work so well because you're kind of half in, half out. In relationships, things don't go as well as they could because, again, you're trying to show the parts of you that you think are most acceptable and normal to other people. You don't love your clients as much as you could because when you hold back, energetically, they hold back. And when you only say, I can deliver this much, they only share this much. Whereas if you acknowledged and started to step into your full capacities with your work, you will find clients that bring you the very depths of their soul and show you exactly how transformational you can be with the work that you offer. So if you're starting to feel like things are a bit too vanilla in your life or business. This is part of the visibility wound. If you found yourself to be bored, if you found yourself to feel frustrated, if you found yourself wondering how you can get the permission to go deeper and to be seen, but also you're very scared of the consequences of that and you're not really willing to go there. This is all part of the visibility wound. So this is what we will be going into in this call that we have coming up and in this three-part series. Now, I would love to hear your feedback and your take on this. I would love to hear your questions and I will either do another episode or I'll um, find a way to respond to your questions. And I would love you to share this with anyone you think it's applicable to or who would resonate with this. And finally, if you wouldn't mind leaving a review so that other people can find this podcast I would so appreciate it in the meantime I can't wait to see many of you on the call on the 26th or in the full series it is being offered to you all at an incredible early bird price for the full series with a bonus Facebook group with Facebook lives and personal Q&A um Facebook access to me if you are part of the full series. Again, the whole point of the series was to reach as many of you as possible. That's why we have done it in such a generous way. So please do take advantage of it and do share it with those of um, those other people in your life and in the world who you think could benefit from it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow the whispers. Take care. And that wraps up another episode of the Business Whisperer podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Your support means the world to me. Now, as always, if you found value in today's episode, do me a favor and share it with someone who you know would love this information or leave us a review so you can help other people find this podcast too. Wishing you so much success ahead. And as always, remember, keep following the whispers.